If you're talking about women lying to other women, I don't lie to other women. You lie to women with your little, your little sayings and your noises and your. <laughs> See, I'm nice and I'm happy. I tell everybody what to do because I'm an HR rep, <laughs> so I have a box smile. And we're gonna we're gonna gender label and label and label genders and mislabel and then label. <laughs> I'm gonna tell women to be strong and independent when I go home and cry to my cat Fluffy and Sadie. My cat Snuggles died, so I put him in the freezer. <laughs> But seriously, though, I don't lie to other women. I don't know what you're talking about. That's what makes me so mad on this channel. And then I subscribe, and then I unsubscribe, and then I subscribe, and then I unsubscribe. And I'm going to write you a little, little email that I'm used to writing from HR style. That's right. Get your act together, buddy. You stuff. You, you criticize women. You don't respect me. <laughs> you know what's sad to my legionnaires? What's really sad, you want to get into it today? All right, let's get into it. American women lie to each other. However, however, don't you punch the like button. Finger the subscribe button, comment in the comment section. Share this video. Become a legionnaire, level one. That is a big B. What is he doing on the ground? I don't know what he's up to. Yeah, we got to get to it. So let's get to it. So, 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 so repeat, repeat, delete. Unfortunately, the American ladies have been lied to, but here's the irony. They first were lied to by men. Oh, I understand American girls. I really do. You girls were lied to for many years from it, it started with American men. Amer American men started lying to you, started telling you a bunch of pie in the sky nonsense. Now you're having to reap the rewards of that. The men of today have to. We all have to pay for this for the decisions of what everybody you know. Everybody decided in the past to make some concessions and. Started using a lot of buzzwords and divide and conquer, and then now we are where we are. It's pretty sucky. Oh, crap. I didn't wear any sunscreen. Well, this might get a little brutal on my skin, but we will see because it is bright and sunny out. It is beautiful. Oh, it is so nice. My legs get pretty tan, but, you know. Anyway, it's kind of sad because <sighs> the little ladies have been lied to. You want to know what's really funny? Is we've all been lied to, men included. We were all told this nonsense. And we wanted to break tradition after thousands of years. And we thought that was a good idea. Well, we can all we can all agree it was a very bad idea. Because whether you want to admit it or not, AWs, you're suffering. And we can see it all the time. And what's really sad is. There's a lot of American women out there taking advantage of this and selling you a lot of nonsense. Selling you crystals, selling you pie in the sky fantasies. If you manifest, ooh, ooh, we're gonna cast a spell. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What, the, what, what, what is that? We're gonna, we're gonna have a mantra today. <laughs> there was literally, I'm making this up. There was a girl on TikTok. She goes, she goes, she goes, <laughs> this is, <laughs> oh my God. She goes, oh, oh, oh crap. I walked right into it. Damn it. There's Kaylee's. Dang. We can get around Kaylee's. Anyway, <laughs> she, she says, <laughs> our mantra for today is we're going to do, do nothing <laughs> and become. <laughs> 
become high value. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I was laughing so hard. I was trying not to it just just keel over. Hey, Lees. <laughs> Hi. You know what we're doing? We used to be Kaylees, but now we're Kaylees. That means we we're, we're we're a little older, we're a little bit wiser, but we're still silly. <laughs> we still make noises, we still bounce around, we skip, but it's not as enthusiastic. That's a good old Kaylee. She's trying. <laughs> I'm trying to get happy again. It's getting a little more difficult. I feel bad for Kaylee's. Kaylee's, Kaylee's are still bubbly bouncing around usually urgens you know what i mean anyway yeah they're selling a bunch of nonsense <laughs> she goes, the girl's like oh we're gonna sit here and do nothing and manifest becoming high value we're gonna manifest millions of dollars <laughs> she, you know they took that whole you know where they got it from guys they got it from that book the secret <laughs> with no action no plan. They take people love to take like little snippets of stuff and then make it work for them. You know what I mean? With the whole high protein diet. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat bacon all day. <laughs> That's how people are. They're funny, man. They like to take they pick and choose the parts that they like, take the parts that they, it's like when they talk about stereotypes. People want to take the good stereotypes, discard the bad ones. Well, that, it doesn't work that way in life. This guy's flying really fast. My right, my right ankle's sore Whew, from running. Jeez, ah, I'm beginning to shake this song. See how it's shaking. Oh, there's a dog. The dogs always agree. Yes, dog, I agree with you. I'm not disagreeing. No, you're right. Yes, <laughs> the ladies are lying to each other. <sighs> so, you know what's really funny? They dress <laughs> the girls that are selling to all my American girls, to all my American girls out there. The girls that are selling to you this fantasy, it's so funny because their lives on the back end are complete craziness and incongruencies and complete chaos. And you know what they'll do? They'll, <laughs> they'll buy a dress that they can't afford. They'll put on their little ring light and they'll go to a nice fancy location for like two seconds because they get usually sh get, uh, shooed away <laughs> by security. I've seen this happen so many times and they'll stand there real quick and take a quick picture. Oh, I'm living the life. And then they post this and they're attempting to sell you this better life. And it really sucks because most American girls... They're posting crap about how 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 unhappy they are. It's really sad, dude. AWs are sad. They are really sad. Oof. I don't envy you girls at all. I really don't. To all my guys that are still pissed, you're in that kind of crimson capsule rage. Guys, you have it way better than you could ever imagine. Ever. Because these girls are out here suffering. Do I feel sorry for him? No, not really, but it's it's still sad. You look at it and you go, thank the Lord I'm not dealing with that crap because boy, oh boy, I'd rather be, <laughs> oh my God. the amount of chaos, you know? Why am I shouting? I have so much energy today. Got a lot of energy, guys. Got a lot of energy. I just do. Got all this energy. Bouncing around. Oh, maybe because I ate some... Uh, some nice fresh strawberries. Those are really good. A little protein bar. Protein, bro. See, bro, what you need to do is you need to eat 12 grams of protein per pound of body weight per day, bro. Because if you don't, bro, you're not a game guy, bro. You're not a game guy. What you do, dude, is what you do, what you do is you take the whey protein and you mix it with the, the milk protein, bro. And then what you do is you take the egg protein, you mix all that together in a big blender, bro. It's got to be two-gallon blender, bro. Then you take your four-gallon water bottle that you can't even carry because it's so heavy to the gym, bro. <laughs> then I want you to talk about, uh, about man, men, mentoring. Yes, talk about game and alpha. 
That's right. Remember, man. Man. Hi, I'm Kayleaf. Can I be in your video? <laughs> Paid attention to me. <laughs> guys, if you look at <laughs> every time you guys, every time you see a jump cut, it's it's usually because there's a little kid. There's usually a little K-Leaf chasing me. <laughs> Can I be in your video? <laughs> sometimes, guys, sometimes I'll let him in. Sometimes I'll I'll bring him in and I'll say it's okay, K-Leaf. Everything's cool. You're very you're you're silly. I'll let you in. Because they're usually nice about it, guys, but sometimes it's just like I I they they I start losing my train of thought because they're they start asking me out because they'll stop me and then they'll start asking all these questions. You see what I mean? They'll be like, oh, how many subscribers do you have? Oh, um, how much money are you making off the mainstream? Uh, you know, what's your, what's your channel and all this? I'm like, I, I mean, I appreciate it, little Kayleaf. You're very cute and you're very silly. And sometimes they're interested, guys, but look, it, it has, this is, this, this is, this is for you guys. It's not about them. And so they always try to make it about them, you know? So, and you never know what they, you know, they'll come back, oh, you popped off, now you owe me money. Oh, get out of my face, Kayleaf. You know, five, ten years later after they haven't secured anybody, you know, what, you know where that's going, you know where it's going. They're not going to secure a dude. Then they're going to come back and look and try to shake a couple trees of dudes. Shake a tree. Shake that tree. Anyway, uh-oh, there's another Kayleaf. I'm going to get around them. Anyway, I'll tie it all back together as well. Women sell each other lies in the West. Guys started it. There's no doubt about it. I agree with you. To my AWs, guys did start it. And it's not what you think. What guys did is, did is they gave in. Because girls had it really good at home. And by the way, here to all those ladies out there who always talk about, you know, the right to vote was won and all this... Most women didn't want to, uh, to vote at all. Most women didn't because they understood that it required conscription. It required you to become... The reason why only men had the right to vote before is because men were required to be drafted and are still to this day. You see what I'm saying? Like when you're 18, guys, to my, to my AWs out there, it's really scary as a guy because you could get drafted at pretty much any time. You, you know what I mean? Which is fine. I mean, I understand military service is important if you got to do your thing. But if you notice, men, men are the ones that have to go and fight these wars and women don't have to. So that's the original reason why. The whole voting thing started in any way. They threw enough tantrums and guys started giving in. Guys started giving in and saying, okay, fine, you can vote. Okay, fine, you can do that. And in all reality, this took away a lot of rights that my little AWs had. See, with, I want you to all my AWs out there, to all my American girls, you really don't know what you gave up so many years ago and you're paying for what you're paying the price. You gave up so many options. Here's what's really funny. This is what I really want the AWs to know. There was no barring of workplace nonsense for ladies back in the 60s, the 50s. You could go to work. It just wasn't common. Do you understand? There was no discrimination. <sighs> I spoke about this for a long time with my grandmother, my mother, my mother highly educated. And she's like, there's no barring of anything. Essentially what it was, was you were able to choose. You could choose the family or you could go to work. But it wasn't very common for women to choose to go to work. And she said it was hard or definitely to get into college and prove yourself. And she got her degree. And my mom is an older baby boomer. My grandmother's silent generation. You see what I mean? So you're going to hear a lot of propaganda, all my little AWs out there. But you actually gave up a lot more than you could ever, could have ever have imagined. 
because a lot of ladies were very happy staying in the home. They really were. It's kind of sad. But it was marketed to you. Oh, my Lord. Guys, you're going to throw up. There's two threes, fours, taking pictures of each other. See, more lies, guys. More lies. Where are they at? Where are they at? Did they disappear? There they are. See them? Taking pictures. <laughs> Trying to look all fancy in a really, really nice location. I literally just talked about this. Two fours right there. Probably up Look at them. Figuring it out. Apply a couple filters. Just more lies, guys. It sucks. So my American girls, look. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You guys are really, really, really... You guys are screwing each other over. <laughs> because you know these things aren't true. You know you don't have millions of dollars. You know... And by the way, to all of you that always say, Oh, I'm a boss, B. Boss of what? Host, host his cupcakes? Boss of what? You're not bossing anything. Boss of who? How many women out there actually have companies? Are actually in charge of what's going on? Not many. Because you choose not to. Ay, ay, ay. And they keep selling. Here's what's so funny. On the one hand, on one side, you got a bunch of ladies who are sad, who are being rejected on the dating marketplace, who are being kicked away. They thought they could keep upgrading their whole lives. They were lied to by other women. Because men have been, <coughs> for the most part, saying this, oh no. Oh no, they're walking extra slow. Ah, you wanna know what's funny, guys? People don't wanna get in my videos. They walk as slowly as possible, to try to, you know, see if they can, anyway. But uh, this has been going on for years. The ladies have been lying to each other, telling each other it'll be fine. You're going to find a good man. Not even a good man. He used to be a good man. Now it's you're going to find your Prince Charming or whatever. They just keep lying to each other and they keep selling fantasy. That's where it just all falls apart. They keep selling more and more fantasy, more delusion. It's sad. It's depressing. <laughs> you see, you see half of them on social media saying, oh, it gets better. You have so many options. They can never articulate where these ladies are going to be. Success stories. Sad. It really is. Because it affects us all, gentlemen. It really does. Now, of course, we've got all the options. Even if you're an average guy, which is just, I know it's amazing. It's freaking incredible. It really is. Even if you're just an average or below average guy, it's fantastic. You guys really do. You can date old women, young women, and all in between. <laughs> Post wall, of course. <laughs> After they hit the physical wall, the mental wall, the emotional wall. Yeah. Tons of leftovers out there, guys, if you're really interested. Now, you want quality, of course. We already talked about traditional foreign women going overseas, being free. Even an average guy can live like a king. And I've seen it firsthand, guys. It's very... You know what I wish? I wish I had started these freaking... Man, kick myself. I wish I could... Man, guys, when I was just walking through Hong Kong and just walking through China, just walking along like a goofball, aimless tourist but not really a tourist i'm always nice to locals and i'm always uh, respectful very respectful in fact surprisingly quiet and i just see all these average guys i'm just looking around going dang this is dang these guys and they have wives pretty wives decent indian guys 
short Chinese guys. Guys, most Chinese guys I've seen overseas, 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, now, were they threatened by a dude like me? Nope. Guys, I'm over a little bit over six foot with no shoes on. Well, sh shoes on about six foot. <sighs> I measured. Don't worry. <laughs> probably at my peak peak. It's probably like six one. Now I'm, now I'm probably like five, 11 and three quarters. You know what I mean? You get old, your spine compresses. It's fine. Anyway, that's with no shoes. Shoes on probably six one-ish. So what am I getting at? Guys, these guys weren't threatened. Not at all. In fact, they felt sorry for me. <laughs> you want to know? <laughs> you want to know why? Because overseas, women don't want guys with muscles. They don't want a guy with a chiseled jawline. They don't want a guy with blue baby blue eyes. They don't want that crap, guys. For the most part, I know you guys are like, no way, bro. They don't. They don't want chads. <sighs> I know. It's hard for you guys to understand. There's a K leaf. Two K. Uh oh, uh oh, guys. K leaf central. K leaf. No wait, maybe the K leaves. Up oh, there, little. You hear him? You hear him squealing? <laughs> yeah, I have a surfboard. Ah, <sighs> but anyway, they didn't. They were more attracted, most of the traditional foreign women, to guys that were just average, normal. Uh oh, tons of little leaves. It was crazy, guys. Yeah, all the way through China, all the way through Hong Kong, all the way through Macau. You know what I mean? Macau was crazy. A little leaf. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Little K leaves in the back. One was chunky. Trust me, guys. See them way back there? Yeah. I don't think. Yeah. One of them was chunky. One of them might have been your type, but I couldn't see your face, so just leave them alone. Anyway, yeah, guys, there were plenty. It was just mostly average people, just average guys. It, it would have surprised you, and all their little wives and girlfriends were thin. Not t these guys weren't tall. They weren't buff. They weren't rich. There was no status. Guys, you have to understand. American girls are lied to all the time. They lie to themselves. They lie to each other. Wow, it's nice out today. Holy cow. I missed this. But maybe I'll stay. You never know. Okay, Leafs. <laughs> We're boarding with this. That's what we do. Ah. Little Leafs. Little happy little Leafs. They don't know what's going on. They're, they're, they're dancing in line. Oh, man. Life is good, though. But, yeah. Unfortunately, they lie to each other. And they tell each other that it just keeps getting better and all this other nonsense. And you want to know something that's funny. Because the ones that talk about this stuff, they always have something to sell. You know? And the ones that don't, the ones that don't are the saddest. It's, it's, just, it's just unfortunate, guys. I mean, you've got women telling other women to finesse guys, to fleece them, etc. Guys ain't S. Mm. More lies. Because I got a little newsflash for all you angry, bitter girls out there. Guys are S. <laughs> we are. <laughs> it's the opposite of ain't S. Which doesn't make any sense. You see what I'm saying? Guys aren't S. Well, that means they're actually good. <laughs> oh, girls, you're funny, man. You make me laugh. Guys ain't S. Okay. I agree. <laughs> we aren't. We're amazing. Hmm. <sighs> And of course, look, guys, I know you're going to talk about, okay, well, simps lie to AWs too as well. Of course they do. But it's not deep. It's usually not deep. 
destructive lies, usually. I mean, it could definitely get deeper, but for the most part, you know, it's mainly just filibustering and uh, what's it called? Uh, little little placation here and there. They're, they're just sprinkling little compliments on them. And I'm not excusing it, not at all, but unfortunately, AWs, they tell each other pretty vicious lies. Nice hat, man. Hey, thank you, man. You too. He's got a hat too. <laughs> they just keep lying to each other. It's sad. And it's not going to get any better anytime soon. It's just not. Unfortunately. And the most twisted part of all this is unfortunately the AWs lying to each other coincides with the guys lying to them as well. I know. It doesn't... I know a lot of you guys watch all these other content creators and they say things like you know they will uh, they'll essentially say hey this is how guys think but in the same breath unfortunately these same guys what they do oh here comes the lifeguards what are they up to they'll say guys they'll uh, tell guys how to become better versions of themselves and all this other stuff which is fantastic in theory yet they're lying to aws because what they're doing is sending mixed signals. They're telling you to fight fire with fire, essentially, to re-engage. Essentially, what they're doing is they're capitulating to AW's demands. So, for example, in AW, she says, well, I want a high-value guy. Well, guys need to do X, Y, Z. And, of course, the little crimson capsule guys will say things like, Man, guys, you need to get your money up. Guys, you need to get buff. Guys, you need to put down the video games. Guys, you need to put down the prawn. All you're doing to all these Crimson Capsule dudes, all you're doing is giving in to the AW's demands. All you're doing is lying to her more, indirectly, and you know you're doing it. And that's why, if you guys notice... I've never really sided 100% with these dudes or gotten on with their whole message. Because at the end of the day, it's flawed. It's very flawed. More power to them. Look, I understand where they're coming from. I get it. Become a better version of yourself. I get that. However, you're lying to AWs. You're lying to the guys. These guys are lying to themselves. Because all they're doing is they're feeding right... And I've said this since day one. You're feeding right back into it, you know? You're sending mixed signals. No, you're not getting in the video, sweetheart. You know what's really disrespectful? Really the most disrespectful thing. And AWs are going to try to fight me on this, but they're going to lose. Bro, take it easy. It's got easy. <laughs> Man, when I was a preteen, though, I was going pretty nuts, too, as well. <laughs> a lot of times what they'll do... Look, I, I, I see where you guys are coming from. I never really sided with these guys from the get-go. Because I understood that they were sending a mixed message. They're telling you guys to go and get with the AWs and do what they say. Oh, but you need to do it for yourself. Self-improvement. For what? For what specifically? To go back to AWs? To become alpha? I get where they're coming from, but they're sending the American women mixed messages. They're telling American women that you need to be loyal and you need to do this and X, Y, Z. And yet in the same breath... They're telling guys to give in to the AW's demands. Do you see how it doesn't make any sense? And that's how, unfortunately, to my American girls out there, you're lied to. You're lied to from both sides. <sighs> it's frustrating, man. It's frustrating as hell. It's frustrating on both sides. That is a big fire ant. 
these red, these red ants are freaking huge. Man. Some of them are massive. Get up to like, anyway, they're out today. I've never been bit by one of those ants, but you never know. Maybe I did. I've been stung by bees and stuff, but it's pretty sad. So you've got American guys lying to American girls. You got American girls lying to American girls. Yeah, it's a big old cluster F, guys. It's just sad. To my AWs out there, I, I do side with you on this. I really, really, really do. <sighs> yeah. Like, literally everywhere you go, it's, just, it's more nonsense. The only real stuff, unfortunately, on social media is going to be the stuff that's pretty raw. And they're not really trying to sell anything. So, you'll see it quite often now, more and more often, women just talking about their what they've been through. Now, some of it's obvious, a lot of it's for uh, virtue signaling and empathy. And, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, feel sorry for me. However, a lot of it is unfortunately true, guys, because it reflects what's happening to all of them. They're all in pain. They're all suffering whether they admit it or not. Because they don't have as many options as they think they do. To all, my, to all my American girls out there, if you turn off your phones right now, how many options do you have really in the real world? Exactly. You don't. Who the hell is trying to call me? Why do people always try to call me during my ministry? I swear to God. Ay, ay, ay crazy my poor little aws they're doing what they can but in all reality they're going to keep struggling they're going to keep experiencing this this trauma they're going to keep going through it for a long time there's really there's really no honest information from them it's just clear cut with the solution you know what i mean and unfortunately reality is going to be the hardest thing for them to swallow for a long time because they're getting pulled in 80 different directions. That's why my message is going to be very hard for most people to swallow because it deals with reality on both sides. The biggest, the biggest reality pill. <laughs> I love all the pills. Why has everything got to be a pill? Why can't we just drink a tincture, huh? Why can't we drink some kombucha or some water or something? <laughs> Something, something clear instead of all these pills. Oh man, let's just get back to basics, everybody. Let's start fresh. To my American girls out there, to my American guys, Western, all this, we're gonna have to get back. Whether you guys like it or not, we're gonna have to get back to basics. We're gonna have to come to an agreement. We're all gonna have to be on one accord. And that means we're going to have to go back, unfortunately, for some of you, and fortunately for some of you, conservatism. I don't agree with it, all conservative viewpoints, not at all. And by the way, I'm not even a conservative, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm really not. <laughs> I just, I know, oh, you, you don't, look, no way is perfect. That's for sure. But I'm not going to completely concede and say that one way is better than the other because they're not. They both have their pluses and minuses. If I was going to lean in a specific direction for society's benefit, I'm going to have to go fully conservative. And that's going to take generations. So if you guys think this stuff is going to happen overnight, you are fooling yourself. This is just the tip of the iceberg. You know what I mean? I think this is really going to be a hard transition for the most part, for AWs. It's going to be a very hard transition. They get pulled in so many different directions. And here's the funniest part. The reason why it's going to be the hardest for them is because they're so used to riding by both sides of the fence. They are used to getting away with everything, not being held accountable, right, by each other. Not even by guys, by each other. Because that 
unfortunately, guys, if mothers and grandmothers and aunts aren't keeping their daughters and nieces and granddaughters in check, men aren't going to be able to keep anybody in check. Because that's the hierarchy. That's the order of things. Women keep each other in check. And if they're not doing it, then they're, there's just no, there's no point. We're just going to have to start fresh. So I know a lot of ladies talk about their dating trauma and, you know, I got divorced and I thought I could upgrade and now I can't. Well, you're going to have to give up with riding both sides of the fence and you're not ready to do it. So that's the whole point. Nobody's, nobody's ready to completely change yet. Guys are going to have to give up hookups. Guys are going to have to give up a lot of things on their end. And so, to most of my guys, obviously, they're in monk mode or just not even dating at all. You guys have the most leverage. Here's what's so twisted about all this. You know who has the most leverage? You know who has the absolute most leverage? It's average, guys. You know what I mean? It's average, guys. Little Kayleafs. <laughs> Happy Kayleafs. <laughs> average guys have all the leverage. Now, a lot of you guys are scratching your head going, what are you even smoking? Average guys have the leverage. Average guys, here's what's fascinating about average guys. Average guys that are not being selected have the most leverage out of everybody. I know that's hard to believe. Here's why. Average guys don't have all these hangups. Average guys can pivot because they don't have families. Average guys have the most flexibility. And the most freedom at this point in time. The guys who are not being selected really have no idea what they are not getting into. Not getting into dating. Not getting into negotiations. Not getting into tantrums. Trauma. The average guys have all the leverage. The average guys have the opportunity to upgrade. They do. Uh oh watch out, kid. Watch out, kid. Jeez, she was about to get smacked. <clears throat> the average guys have all the opportunities. They really do. They don't even know it. This what's so funny. Most average guys think they're lowest on a totem pole. You guys have no idea. <laughs> See, what the reason why the average guys have all the leverage is because they're going to get... If they really wanted to, here's what's so funny is they could get all the leftover women they want if they really wanted to. If that is their cup of tea, average guys can get all the leftover girls. Because what so many men don't understand is all these average girls, they just get tossed to the side of the road by high value guys. Even if they do get a moment with them, as they don't stay with them. Not only that, average guys can upgrade to a traditional foreign woman pretty much any time in their lives without the hassle or the baggage or of being emotionally damaged by AWs. Isn't that fascinating? It really is trippy. When you, get, when you guys break it down and you take all the emotion out, it's the average guys that actually have the leverage <laughs> at the end of the day. It's just crazy. Boggles my mind. Because I, everybody thinks, oh, it's the high value. No, they don't. Because high value guys are dealing with all these ladies. And tr to all my guys who think they're missing out, you're not missing out, son. Because you're going to be hit on by every buffalo. Okay, let's just say, let's just say, put yourself in the shoes of a Chad. You're six foot five, 250 pounds, you're chiseled, you got money. I'm just balling. Do you know how many below average women are going to come after you pretty much every day, all the time, always tempting you, distracting you? It's not as much, it, guys, it's not all it's cracked up to do. Just saying. 
Yeah. So the women, the people that lose the most in all of this in the West, the people that lose the most are going to be American women, unfortunately. They are going to lose hot ones, you know, average ones, above average ones. Yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunate. They are going to go through the most crap, for sure. You know what? I'm going to go in this direction. I'm tired of this, this way. Go back. So, we just got to be realistic with ourselves. We got to understand that at the end of the day, we're either all going to make it together, or we could stay divided and just fall apart. It's just how it's going to go, unfortunately. So, now, do I think we're going to come together and kumbaya all that? Of course not. That's not happening for three generations. And by then, I will be in the dirt. I will be in the sand. I'll be hanging out. Oh, yeah. The best thing for us to do is to stay focused, stay on purpose, stay happy. <laughs> not necessarily happy. Just focused on what we're doing. Get out into the real world. Experience life. People on bicycles. People on roller skates. People having a good old time. You know what I mean? That's what we got to do. These, these people on the roller skates are really annoying me. This couple keeps going back and forth. They're trying to get in my video. That's the downside of doing these vlogs. What are you going to do? Can't win it. You can't, can't have it all, guys. Oh, Lord have mercy. Now I can put the like button on the way out. Finger the subscribe button coming in the comment section. Become a legionnaire. Yeah, guys, I really don't have anything to sell, sell to you guys. I just don't. I don't. What is there to sell to you? I mean, if you want to set up a clarity call, if you need help with a specific situation, okay, fair enough. But I can't think of anything to really sell to you. Not at this point, at least. I guess a membership, you know what I mean? The Legionnaires, because we delve more deeply into the mindset. Do you get what I mean? Staying focused, winning, setting up your successes, action plans, all that stuff. But as far as anything else, what am I going to sell to you guys? T-shirts? <laughs> Mugs? <I don't laughs> Is it really worth all the effort? I'm not quite sure. If you guys want to help, you want to you want to donate, send a super thanks. That helps keep the channel going and stuff. But as far as selling you courses and all this, what's the point? As far as like, what am I going to sell you in a course? If you really want to learn about sales, in upping your game and doing all that stuff, we'll set up a you can set up a clarity call. But sales courses, just here's here's the problem with all these courses. This is a little bonus content. Here's the problem with all these courses. The courses, courses are general. They don't deal with this very specific situation, specific issues, specific. You're really, you're, you're dealing with generalities. Okay. And the problem with that is when you sell general courses, you get general results. Does it make sense? One thing I learned a long, long time ago, when I was a trainer, I realized that I need to make my little linglings. She is flying. <coughs> she was just like this. She's just, <coughs> she's just wiggling her head. She smiled at this little smirk. Oh my God, she's so cute. She's pretty, dude. She was like a six, six and a half, seven. Body wasn't too good. These courses are giving you general results. What I learned from being a trainer is you have to design the program more specifically to the person involved. Because we may all be very similar. We do have very specific differences. And women have differences. Look at this lady. And she is tough as nails. Good Lord. 
She is tough. She's just running. She looks like a an marathon runner. Good boy. But what I realized is you need to make a very specific program for everybody. It can't just be some general nonsense. If you want to get people results. And I realized it wasn't the actual things they were doing. It was our actual mental game. 90% of people's lives and progress is controlled through their mental game. And then about 10% of the rest of it is action. You know what I mean? So, yeah, if their mental game isn't on point, if they're not ready mentally, they just, there's no progress. So, no point in selling courses. That's why I haven't introduced one. We all have different paths. Yet, getting on our purpose is numero uno. Until next time, gentlemen. To my AW, stay on point. Watch my previous videos. Get enlightened. Until next time. Definitely watching you, so let's get going. Ah!